The story of the Pakistani International School in Damascus is unlike any one of its kind around the world. It is a story of resilience, perseverance, and hope. At the same time, it is the story of successful diplomacy, identical political visions, and strong relations between two countries. As ambassador of Pakistan in Syria, it's a great honor for me and that beside my diplomatic assignment, I also have responsibility towards Pakistan International School of Damascus. Uh, it's a very vibrant organization, a very beautiful setup which our elders have uh, set up over here and it's a very true reflection of the friendship between the two countries. And it is going to stay there for times to come till the, these two countries are there on this earth, inshallah. The Pakistani International School represents a unique cultural landmark in Syria, playing an enlightening role in terms of spreading advanced education among Syrian and foreign students in a wide range of fields. When the Pakistani International School was established in Syria, it was affiliated to the Pakistani Embassy in Damascus. Its aim was to provide education for the children of the Pakistani community in Syria and those of the diplomatic staff members of other foreign embassies. It initially started as a kindergarten and elementary school whose small building in Al Mazza could hardly accommodate a limited number of school children. I have been working here for 30 years. Uh, from 1989, I joined Paisod. And still, alhamdulillah, I am here at Paisod after 30 years of service. At the beginning of our, the establishment of our school, it was in Mazza. It was separated between three buildings, separate buildings but all of them near to the Embassy of Pakistan and near to Mazza area, the same area. Later on, the Syrian government allocated a plot of land to allow for a wider space to build a new edifice that would give access to more students to continue their education. As far as I may remember, in 2000, nearly 2000, uh, year 2000, President Bashar al-Assad and uh, President of Pakistan, they had a meeting and during that meeting the proposal of establishment of Pakistan International School was discussed. And thanks to our President Bashar al-Assad, uh, he gave all facilities and possible, uh, yani whatever they needed, his Excellency to President of Pakistan and to the Embassy of Pakistan till they decided to start building the present time location here in Yafu. The new building is situated in a countryside area near the capital Damascus, surrounded with a green landscape. The air is clean and fresh and the oxygen is plentiful, providing children with an ideal healthy atmosphere. The school follows Cambridge curriculum, in addition to subjects from the Syrian curriculum that include Arabic language, history, geography, and political studies. Our school is a center for examinations, for Cambridge examinations. Our students should appear uh, in grade 11 uh, should appear uh, for Cambridge exams, which is IGCSE for grade 11. Then they pass to grade 12, where they should appear, they should take AS level subjects. Uh, after a graduation, uh, the students are issued, they are awarded certificates by Cambridge. Uh, this certificate is an international certificate. Uh, and it is uh, recognized all over the world. I have received an email from Cambridge this very morning. Uh, they said uh, they have sent uh, the certificate of one of our students and I'm tracking now the shipment through DHL. مدرسة الباكستانية هي مدرسة دولية في سوريا تعنى وتهتم بالتدريس المنهاج باللغة الإنجليزية 
بشكل كامل ولكن ايضا تعنى وتهتم باللغتين العربيه والفرنسيه. بالنسبه للغه العربيه تقوم بتدريس المنهاج التابع لوزاره التربيه هي تهتم ليس فقط باللغه الانجليزيه وانما باللغه العربيه وماده الاجتماعيه. My name is Hiba Rashid. I've been studying here since I was born, since nursery till grade 12. Uh, then I studied English literature at the Damascus University and graduated and came back to teach children and uh, let them see what I passed through. I teach uh, KG2, uh, English, Math, Science, Social Studies and uh, Geography. Now the students are developing perfectly, everything is fine. Uh, they are now on, in a good condition to be great. In Faisal, in the foundation sections, we have uh, uh, 107 kids um, and we are uh, following the um, uh, Oxford uh, curriculum um, as well. Here we in the um, foundation section, as we you know that we have very young children. Um, they are um, we uh, three till uh, five and a half years of age. Uh, we encourage them to learn to through play and different hands-on activities. So we want a happy child in this foundation section, and we don't want to pressurize them for uh, anything because um, every child is different, and every child learn on his or her pace. So uh, here we, uh, we give them an enabled environment in which they can learn. My story about the wolf and the seven kids. Mother wolf was going to the market. She said to her kids, don't open the door till I return. I'm Aruj and I'm here as a coordinator for the elementary section at Paisod. We have uh, almost 240 students and uh, they uh, range from grade 2 till grade 5. Uh, I have an experience of 11 to 12 years in, the, in uh, different leading schools of Pakistan and uh, my major subject is English. So uh, over here we are uh, mostly concerned about the checkpoint examination because this year we are going to hold the che Cambridge checkpoint examination for English, Science and Mathematics. So um, we are mostly focused on the academics, but with the academics we are concerned mainly for the project-based learning. And uh, the students mainly focus on their activities, they learn from their activities, they learn from peer um, tutoring. And uh, this is how, you know, it's, we are not making it just for the sake of assessments and examination. When I was um, deciding to join PySod, it was a difficult decision because I had to come alone and people would tell me that Syria is at war, so how are you going to survive over there, it's not safe to go there. Uh, but then when I came here, I was really impressed by the Syrian people that how after 10 years of war, they have survived and they are still, you know, hopeful and very energetic in uh, their lives. During the terrorist war on Syria, when most international schools in the country, such as the French School of Damascus and the American School, scaled down their work and later on closed indefinitely, the Paisod took a brave decision to keep its doors open despite all hardships. We kept Paisod open even during the war. And this was a decision of our embassy who was the only embassy even during the war which was open for the people of Syria. Uh, the, uh, the teachers who were there, the students who were there, they were motivated enough, the administration who were there, they were motivated enough to keep it running. And we thank our parents, our students, our administrative staff, and especially the Syrian government for this, 
that they were beside us for keeping it running for the uh, students of the Syria. The war was a very hard time for us, teachers and students. And we tried our best to persist and stay teaching the students and we focused on educational purposes. I remember that was uh, a pretty tough period for me because uh, I was in Aleppo. I moved here, uh, I had no friends, I had to make new friends. But I, I met up with some new friends, I made some new friends. Everybody here is kind, uh, they care about each other and for each other. And pretty good people, I'd say. Fortunately, I've had a few friends that, um, I had a friend that passed away in Aleppo. Uh, but since I've came, like since I've come here in Damascus, Thank God nothing of that has happened and uh, yes, 100%. For many school students who registered at the school, the mere fact of attending classes during the war had been in itself an act of resistance and steadfastness. يعني بفترة اللي العصيبة اللي مرت فيها سوريا كنا هون عايشين نحن واستمرينا طبعا هي ضلت هون ودرست هون وتعلمت هون لا 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 يعني إيه؟ يعني ضليت استمرت بانه تروح على المدرسه كنت تشتغل طبعا طبعا ما انقطع يعني ما تغير شيء بحياتنا خلال الفتره العصيبه اللي مرت فيها البلاد المدرسه مدرسه وكانت تروح على بشكل مستمر يوميا ومجتهده بكل دروسها during the war time, many people lost um, their loved ones, and in general, they lost so many people that they love. But uh, we all uh, were together like a family and persisted together in order to, to go through this uh, horrible period of our time. Even during the most strenuous moments, when Damascus was targeted by the terrorists with mortar shells and heinous car bombs, the students and staff members insisted on coming to school. Once it was shared with me that even at that time, one of our staff member, Ms. Suwad and Mr. Mustafa, who kept the school open and running, they were asked by the policemen that why you people are opening, why you people are uh, going to the school. But it was just because of their motivation that they kept it running. <laughs> سيارة تبعه بهذيك الفترة كان هاريتا في انفجار صباحي ساير ونحن بدنا نوصل على المدرسة فنحن ما عرفنا كيف بدنا نوصل الطرقات مسكرة وال يعني أنا بيتنا نحن قريب بقلب البلد ونحن مدرستنا بعفور فبدنا نجي صرنا نسأل الشرطة كيف بدنا نجي على المدرسة كيف بدنا نجي قام في شرطي وقفنا لك أنتوا ليش جايين أنتوا رجعوا على بيوتكم ليش جايين ما شايفين الانفجار إن قالوا لا لازم نجي على المدرسة بس بيصير إنه أنا لاحظت بعد فترة وقت بتفكري بهيك موضوع بتلاقي أنت الانتماء للمكان اللي أنت فيه الانتماء للمدرسة اللي عشنا وعطي وعطيناها من عمرنا وحياتنا أنا إلي بالمدرسة هلا 29 سنة فأنا ربيت مع المدرسة صار جزء مني المدرسة كأنه بيت كأنه بيتي وبالنسبة لمستر مصطفى نفس الشيء فنحن بالرغم من كل هال الانفجار والشغلات والعالم والكركبة نحن جينا بدنا نجي على المدرسة لنوصل Moreover, when the majority of foreign students and teaching staff decided to leave the country, the school had to rely on Syrian educational staff to run its several departments and sponsor academic courses, thus offering handsomely paid job opportunities for them. Later on, when security and stability returned to most areas around Syria and people who had traveled abroad of fear of terrorism started to return to the country, they found in Paisad the only school which suits their English-speaking kids. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. What are you waiting for? Uh, a test. A test. A test for what? For a to get into the Pakistan school. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Why? Why have you decided to come to the Pakistan school? It's a new opportunity for me 
to learn Arabic and because I came from America. So I'm excited for, you know, a new opportunity and how I can develop new skills here. Are you Syrian or American? I'm Syrian, born in America. This is the second time they do the tests and I hope they pass it this time. It's kind of difficult test a little bit and the time is strict. So um, I hope they do it this time, yeah. Yes, it's a test for registering. It's for like, yeah, a placement test, a placement just to get into the school. And this school actually is our only opportunity because my kids do not speak Arabic and they don't know how you to read Syrian. Arabic. Yes, I'm Syrian, but my kids were born in New Jersey and we lived all our life there. So, yes, I wanted my kids to know their country of origin. I wanted them to learn Arabic get in touch with people. So, yeah. Uh, are you, are you uh, worried? Don't worry. Yeah, I'm kind of worried. I, I won't lie to you, I'm kind of worried. I just want them to pass and get into this school. The school exceeded my expectations because um, compared to my lifestyle in Dubai, um, I expected Syria to not be, uh, reach the expectations, but it definitely, it's really good. Whenever I was in Dubai, I expected Syria to be um, not very safe from the stuff we've been hearing on the news and such. But once I came here and lived here and saw that there's nothing to be worried about, I realized that uh, it's just as safe as everyone says. My name is Sarah and I like school because it educates you and it provides you with many activities. I think music because, and ping pong of course, uh, I won three tournaments uh, across my whole life in Bulgaria. I'm Bulgarian and uh, I won some tournaments in Bulgaria. But unfortunately I couldn't attend the tournaments here because unfortunately I broke my, I broke my knee. But yeah, I think ping pong or table tennis is a pretty good hobby for me. I participated in the musical evening. I played on the violin there. I also play volleyball during sports. And uh, yeah, and I, I participate in MUN too, which was made by Sham Jabouri. Over the years, the school successfully managed to celebrate national anniversaries such as Syria's Independence Day, organizing musical performances exclusively presented by the school students, exhibiting exceptional singing talents and artistic vitality hand in hand. These dances and songs reveal a deep sense of solidarity among the Pakistani and Syrian participants alike. A month ago, a um, musical evening held and I was excited about that there will be some songs, dances and some other things. So my main focus was to learn Dabke and my, especially my parents was saying me, was encouraging me to learn Dabke, to participate in Dabke. So that's why I participated in Dabke that, lead, that led me to a good decision and I have learned a very perfect Dabke. As my teachers are appreciating me that you have done a very good job in doing Dabke. That's a perfect job for you. Hello, my name is Julia from the from Paisot. I'm I'm in the third grade. Today I danced and I sang on the stage of the opera house. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the, all my Syrian brothers and sisters for having the Independence Day. Uh, we are very fortunate that this function is, uh, you know, is, is synced with that time, and uh, the, uh, we feel that, you know, it in a way it is uh, our children are more motivated because you know they understand the importance of this day. Uh, these functions are annual functions and normally they are towards the tail end of the uh, academic years. You know, they are the high marks of the performances. And as the Syrian National Day is 
towards the uh, that time so obviously it is getting mostly the in sync with this time and it becomes double uh, joy for our students for our teachers to celebrate Moreover, the school's board of directors, which is consisting of Syrian and Pakistani members, is another example of that deep cooperation and keenness to promote excellence among students by working together as a team, providing strategic plans, establishing policies and regulations, setting expectations and goals, and pushing forward to improve students' achievements. الحقيقة اللي الشرف اني اكون كعضو بمجلس ادارة المدرسة كان في لنا تقييم سنوي على الاقل مرتين حول كل شيء سيستم كل شيء انظمة عم تندار فيها المدرسة ان كان على السوية التعليمية او السوية الادارية او سوية تقييم سواء الطلاب او الاساتذة كان لي جدا يعني كان لي عدة مقترحات الحقيقة جدية بهذا الموضوع من حيث آلية التقييم وخلقنا سيستم تقييمي للمدرسة على كل الفئات لحتى يقدروا يرتقوا بنقاط الضعف إذا كان إذا كانت موجودة سهولة التواصل بين الأهل والطلاب كمان بنفس الوقت هذا كان موضوع بهمنا وبهم إدارة المدرسة إنه تقوي بالإضافة لكل المبادرات والاجتماعية خلينا نقول يلي كانت المدرسة عم تقوم فيها The school's graduates are definitely among the best qualified students, measuring in different areas and domains. One student in particular, Alex, ranked first in an IQ competition held abroad coming ahead of a large number of students from different countries. My name is Alexandra Popova and I am of Syrian and Czech nationality. I feel Syrian though. I also achieved 100% in the checkpoint examinations last year. My achievement, my main objective is achievement and uh, success in the future. My objective in changing the world is to try to make the world a better place. What pushed me to excel in this field is mostly my competitive spirit and also the encouragement of my family and the teachers around me. It is no surprise that the graduate students excelled in different areas because the school itself has become well equipped with advanced laboratories in which experiments of biological and physical studies are regularly carried out. Also, newly accommodated computer rooms allowed students direct access to a 24-hour internet service and provided them with essential computer skills not only to utilize computers but in some cases to develop programs and become pioneers in this domain. We are facilitating the Pisodians in network, in software and hardware also. This one is our, this one is our physical server. This is our local server. We have a PSMS software, PSMS Pakistan School Management System. In this system, we are interconnecting the modules, our accountings, our result generation systems, our websites, our social media links, and a lot of others. With the help of uh, His Excellency, Ambassador Rashid Kamal, 
He facilitated us to finalize these things. We have a, a secondary school student in Paisid was part of Syria's national robotics team, which participated in world championships, winning top places globally. I am Sami Maruf and and I excelled in robotics um, and like I'm a part of um, a team that consists of three members um, we, um, we got first position here in Syria in the local robotics competition and and then um, we went we went to represent Syria in the world and the world robot competition and internationally and um, we got 11th place we um, we beat like we beat 100 out of 116 teams we got 11th place i want to achieve my goal which is to make which is to make um, transport better not only in earth but also in outer space During the war, the school had been involved in many charity projects, reflecting a higher awareness among students with regard to different forms of social cooperation and interaction, especially helping those in need, including homeless kids and the elderly. For instance, they visited Al Karame House for the elderly and showed sympathy and compassion with the residents there. We put in the boxes many clothes, many food, because as you can see, they're not in their best conditions. But we tried to help them the most, and it was nothing. It was nothing from the school. It was basically our hearts to help all of everyone who he needs help and stuff like that. Yeah. We, as Pakistan School, we usually come in. We have uh, parties in here and in school. We, we usually come the first time to get the requirements of everyone because this is what we're supposed to do as a human self, help other people, and of course Syrians. After the war, you know, everything went to south. So we usually come in first time, we get the requirements of everyone. And then we go, we gather money from everyone, from all the students, and school itself helps. So second time, we come in with all the requirements they wanted from the first time. We just distribute it, like now. This program was essentially started with the aim to help out the needy of Syrian society. Uh, Alhamdulillah, all the students of Paisards, uh, they have this ability to do more in this respect. They are well placed, uh, mashallah, in families, uh, so they are able to do this uh, thing in a big way. Second thing is, uh, if you see from their future uh, uh, education point of view, or their uh, uh, they're supposed to have uh, a recommendation from the school for their higher education. Uh, so once they involve themselves so in social activity like this, uh, and they take these uh, recommendations from the school and other agencies with whom they are going to be involved, right? Like one of like this. So this, I think, recommendation is going to help all these kids in a great way to get admission to in the higher university with a very positive note. Uh, my name is Shazak Izbidi, a student in Pakistani International School of Damascus. Uh, we've come here today to give the people in need what they need. Uh, we got them food, we've prepared meals and uh, food to stay in the fridge for them to have meals for a longer time. Uh, we've prepared clothing for those who need it and everything else um, we found um, they, they need more of, like wheelchairs and such, everything that will help uh, improve their life standards. Our aim here today was to help them, to make them happy, because other people's happiness makes us happy. It is worth mentioning that the Pakistani ambassador Rashid Kamal had played a very important role in sponsoring a program labeled We Care, which organizes charity and social services activities. A 
Ambassador Kamal also had a role in funding renovation works and introducing many other programs that are surely to produce inevitable development in the educational domain. The war was gradually fading away and uh, mid of the last year we had uh, adequate victories which could give us space to take more project in a more aggressive manner. So what we did as a team at PySort that we started to focus to improve our standard and take back its uh, to a glorious day of past. All those areas which were suffered due to war, especially training of uh, teachers and discipline which actually got uh, derailed because of the uh, less strength of the staff and other uh, sporting, uh, sporting uh, element. People have started to join back, there are more number of Pakistani teachers there, the staff has enhanced and all measures have been now put to support the activities of school in a more comprehensive manner. We uh, thought of doing something more. <clears throat> I had a vision that, you know, uh, the more uh, 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 group we enlarge, we will be able to do more meaningful uh, contribution. So I came up uh, with the, my previous experience, based on previous experience, to have alumni set up of PySort. This school had been there for last 35 years plus, and a large number of uh, uh, people in the society holding well-off positions uh, have been graduated by this school. Uh, so we have set up this alumni setup in an effort to reconnect with the past, to group up with the present and past in a manner that they are able to contribute towards society. Uh, tomorrow itself, we have uh, the second meeting of these alumni, and we are going to select the team who are having the apartment of themselves and giving them guidelines to work. And inshallah, I am very hopeful that in due course of time, this seed which is being laid uh, at the PISOT is going to become a very big. The Pakistani school has been generous also in offering grants and scholarships to brilliant and talented students. Um, we went to Pakistan as a delegation with our school because we got the highest grade in our IGC exams and it was an honor to go and we were very happy. We learned a lot about their culture and we learned about the people and we got the chance to be a delegation for Syria and we were very proud. This year I went with uh, 11 students, high achievers in IGC and uh, we went to, uh, we make a visit to many places in Pakistan. It was uh, a fun trip, uh, educative, uh, to learn about the country. I think it was beneficial to the students because, uh, as I said before, they learned a lot from there. They learned, they saw the culture there, uh, they saw the people. Last year we went in a, with a group of teachers to Pakistan, but that was a training course. The school has introduced training workshops for the teachers and lecturers to get them acquainted with the latest knowledge and teaching methods and approaches. We went to um, uh, training uh, uh, courses, yes, uh, in Pakistan. It was very good for teachers. Uh, very nice experience, very good. Uh, uh, we improved everything, inshallah, and we are implementing what we learned with our teacher uh, in the school. Studying in Pakistania is somewhat hard. But if you work really hard enough, you can do it. And our, all of our approach, I can speak for myself and everyone behind me when I say that our approach was very direct and strong and we did try our best. And you can see by our marks and everything that everyone did, their approach was amazing and we did try our best. I want to become a politician 
so I can help this country get back on its feet and help all the people that were wrong throughout this war in the past seven years and make uh, everyone's living standards uh, better. I think the most special memory is the last day we were all coming to school and it was the very last school day where we all just cried and hugged each other and we were just around each other and happy to be around each other and that we graduated with this group of people. So many memories, I can't begin, I don't know where to begin, honestly. It's, uh, it's been a rough journey. I've been in this school for around three years now and it's been wonderful every step of the way. I'm going to study digital marketing in Spain and I'm hoping to find success in whatever I do and I'm hoping that everyone else finds success in what they do and that they're happy and I hope we can meet again sometime. I joined PySod in November of 2018 so I have only been here for a few months but in this brief time I got the great opportunity to meet all these young people grade 12 they are exceptional young men and ladies with so many beautiful dreams and aspirations and it was really a privilege to work with them and to get to know them I think that each of them is paving their own path to greatness uh, some of them are going to study in Syria and some of them are traveling abroad but they all have fantastic dreams and they all are thinking of how they can contribute to this bright future that we are all hoping for. The relations between Syria and Pakistan are exemplary. Uh, uh, Pakistan has supported Syria all the time uh, since uh, our independence, which uh, is not far from each other. Uh, Syria got independence in 1946, uh, Pakistan in 47, uh, and uh, since that time, uh, we have developed very good economic cultural cooperation. The presence of the international of the Pakistan International School in Damascus is an example of that cultural dimension of the relation between the two countries, not to mention the economic relations. Both countries are really interested in developing all kinds of relations and in promoting international peace and security, but without foreign occupation, without domination by the United States or the Western powers.